what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi i'm musical jazz today we are recreating my house in the sims and let me just tell you guys right now this was the hardest build i have ever done in the sims only because i didn't get the measurements right and i just i don't know i made the house too small originally and then i ended up making it too big, which is what I'm doing here, um, and I just, I got very, very frustrated with this house, or with this build, and I ended up using up the whole lot, which I normally never do, and that just kind of comes to show I made the house way too big in the game, but it's alright, you know, right here, I'm just working on my porch really quick. Um, I'm gonna say this right now, the house isn't exact, or the build isn't exact to, to the way that my house is here in real life, only because The Sims 4 doesn't really provide some of the stuff that we have in the real world. Um, so, like I said before, you, right here you guys see me messing around with um, the sizing of certain rooms and stuff like that. Now I'm back outside working on my porch. I had a hard time with this, um, also. <laughs> and then right here, I'm just working on the little, um, I don't know what you call it, like the hangout area, I guess, or the, the living, I don't know. I don't know what you would call this little spot but I'm just working on that I ended up getting rid of all three of the blinds I just didn't show me getting rid of the last one I don't know why and then right here I'm working on my brother's desk which is where he does his schoolwork and he plays his video games like right there on that extra desk there's a printer but the sense doesn't have that but that's all right sorry if you guys hear some extra noises in the background those are my guinea pigs drinking some water. I apologize if the noise is bothering you guys. But, um, you guys will see me messing around with the sizing of some of the bedrooms quite a bit. Only because I wasn't very happy with a lot of them. Right here I'm working on my bathroom. And that wall that I'm building is, I have like a pantry in my bathroom so that's what that wall is and I didn't decorate the inside only because I felt like that was kind of irrelevant and then I thought the bed the bathroom was too small but it ended up not being too small it was just perfect and I did have to move over a couple of things because I made it a little bit smaller and I'm just Putting in my sink and my toilet and the doors and my flooring and then some lights and mirrors and my rugs that I do have in my bathroom and they are blue and my shower curtain isn't actually black it's blue with like brown and stuff and it goes with uh, the colors of my cabinets and stuff. Um, so I, here I'm just adding like the little details, you know, nothing that's too important. And then now I'm working on my bedroom, which here I had a little bit of a hard time only because I made the bedroom too small without knowing it. So I had to end up um, getting rid of the closet and then extending the walls a little bit to make the room bigger and it ended up being perfect I don't have the actual wall closets only because I don't have the stuff pack that they come with so I had to kind of improvise with what I have and then right here um, I put my TV and my shelving that's above my TV and then my extra shelving that's on the bottom I put it over too far, so I ended up having to move that over. 
you guys will see that here in a second. I was struggling pretty bad <laughs> with picking out a lamb because I didn't like any of the ones and I ended up choosing that one. But here you guys see me fixing my TV and my shelving and adding some extra stuff, which I know you guys are going to think I'm kind of weird for having a black wall, but the only reason I have it is because I'm actually painting it right now, a uh, galaxy. And then this is the first time I have ever used the ceiling fans. I don't, I've never used it in game and I don't know if it actually works or not. But I think it's pretty cool that they added that. And then here I'm just creating my brother's bedroom, which I kind of didn't do a great job on only because he has a bunk bed in real life and The Sims doesn't have that. Other than that, I would have made his room pretty accurate. Uh, right here, I'm just adding um, some extra cupboards, or shelving, I should say, because those hold his video games and stuff, and those books are meant to represent video games. And then here I'm just adding a little bit of clutter and toys. And then I forgot to add the windows to mine and his room, and I ended up forgetting to put windows in my parents bedroom and their bathroom in the end so I kind of messed up there but I ended up having them in mine in my brother's room. Right here I'm working on my parents bedroom and I don't know I had a hard time with their room just a little bit because my dad has a little bit more space on his side of the bed and my mom doesn't but you know it's fine. And then my parents also have an armoire in their bedroom that has their TV. So I ended up just putting an extra dresser and a flat screen there to kind of represent that a little bit. And then I did have uh, move cheats on, turned on, <laughs> and that kind of messed with my game a little bit until I ended up getting fed up and turning it off later on. But I dealt with it for a good while. But I was getting really frustrated. <laughs> and um, I was also playing with the wonky mouse that the sensitivity is too high. So I have to change that. And I ended up changing to a different one that I have. And I know you guys are going to think I'm weird for adding a TV in their bathroom, but that's because they actually have one in there. And then I just added some extra ceiling lights. Sorry about that. That was my phone. And then I ended up extending their bathroom and their closet. And I didn't decorate the closet again because I feel like that was irrelevant. And you guys wouldn't really care to see that. And then just adding some extra hampers and stuff. And then right there, that's a closet that has some extra like winter coats and stuff. And then right here, what I thought was really interesting that I did, I used some cabinets from the kitchen area and I just ended up making my own little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like it's for your TV. Um, anyways, not the point. I was trying to find a three-seater couch that was similar similar to that one, but I couldn't, and I swear that there is one, but I don't know, I must just be going crazy. And then I had trouble finding a good rug and a good size, so I ended up just going with this one and the original size of it. And here I am adding windows, yet I forgot to add them to my parents' bedroom. Oh wow. And then here, that's my mom's end table, and I'm just adding, again, some extra clutter to it to not make it look so um, bland. I'm adding a mirror and a picture. And then now I'm working on the dining area, which I feel like that table's too small, but then that one's too big. So I just ended up going with that one because I was a little bit closer to what we have. And then... Just some lighting and 
some flowers. And then right here, this is where we have uh, a fireplace. And then now I'm working on the kitchen. The kitchen I struggled with pretty bad, only because I made it originally too big. And then I had to get rid of a couple um, uh, counter space. And then I had to bring one of the walls in to make the kitchen look a little bit smaller because, I don't know, I just struggled with it. And then, um, like right here, <laughs> there you guys could see that I brought it in a little bit and I'm just moving it uh, into place. And I'm not very happy with that corner only because I don't like that it's sticking up further, but what can I do? And then now I'm just adding some extra uh, cupboards. And then I misplaced that wall to begin with, so I just fixed it. And then I brought that room uh, in, which is a laundry room. And here I'm just adding some extra stuff to the kitchen. And the thing, let me just say this really quick. Above our stove is where a microwave is, but I couldn't put it there in the game. Um, so I just ended up sticking it on a, um, I, I'm blanking on, on the name of the, what those are called. <laughs> Um, they're not cupboards. Counter. On the counter. There we go. And then I'm just fixing that wall. And I know that it looks kind of funny. Like there's a lot of blank spots or little tiny rooms. And that's only because that's the only way that I could kind of make it the way that it is. I don't know. It worked, okay? <laughs> and then I'm just... Doing, putting in the laundry room here, um, adding the flooring, and then this door is to my garage, which I ended up adding later, which I didn't end up showing, and that's why the house looks a little bit longer. And then right here, I'm just adding the outside, like what color the house is and stuff, and the roof, which I know it's kind of weird that my house is red. But we live up in the mountains, so it kind of it fits. And then uh, I just did the whole house like that. I know I did it the long way, but it's okay. I didn't want to mess up like the inside and ac accidentally, sorry, make the inside walls red because that glitches sometimes. And then here I am doing the roof. And yes, my roof is green. But and that's the last step of making my house. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, you guys don't know what my house looks like, so I can't ask you guys to tell me if I did a good job or not. But I showed my family and they're pretty happy with it. But with that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!